Hi Aquarius! If you meant to find Elsie from Ten of Cups Tarot, too bad, you're here. <laughs> this is me. So <laughs> if you meant to find someone else, I'm sorry, but stay, stay, because it's going to be fun. This is your weekly wisdom and it's really quick. It's only about a 10 minute video and we're just going to give you the energies for you in and around um, you for the week and hopefully we can give you a little bit of insight of what might be going on. We, I always say we, I guess I'm talking about me and the universe. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm talking about because you know I couldn't do this without the universe. I'm kind of useless. I'm just a channel so um, I just want to tell you that some of my very favorite people are Aquarius. I love an Aquarius personality. That bubbly, lovely, up in the air can take me from my bad mood, boom, up to my good mood and I have a really a really good friend who is an Aquarius and I just love 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 her. So um, this is going to be your reading for the week. It is going to be from today. I'm sorry it's late a day. Um, it's going to be from today until November the 3rd. So we're kind of early and you still have time to make use of this reading. So um, what we do is, if you are new here, it was we do pull an animal medicine card first and then I will pull uh, a wisdom of the oracle card next and then I'm going to clarify both of those cards with a couple of tarot. Um, we're going to start with this um, sun, moon, and rising sign and Jupiter. Uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter uh, for the sign of Aquarius, for the collective Aquarius. Just going to do a couple, a couple of um, shovels. <laughs> That's the word. Oh God. If I can't speak now, what's going to happen when we're in Mercury retrograde? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So be patient with me. <laughs> can't speak. It's getting late. <laughs> okay. So um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the collective sign of Aquarius, please. Can we please have an animal medicine card? Energies that will be in and around our Aquarius friends from today until the 3rd of November. Ready? I'm going to show you though. Hang on. Me first. Ooh, panther. Look at that. That is the alchemical sign for fire. And look at that face. Wow. You are in charge this week, Aerie, um, uh, Aquarius. You are in charge of this week. Um, it looks like um, people might not be approaching you that much, but you have the power to get whatever you want this week. This panther is quick, quick thinking, quick moving. Um, I would say that this is part of the fire sign because it is just so powerful. So um, we are going to uh, clarify that a little bit further. Right now I'm just going to pull a Wisdom of the Oracle card for you. What do we have here? We have clean it up. And I think this is about your karma. It's about unfinished business. It's about um, cleaning up the things that need to be finished. You need to purge and you need to um, push away things that no longer serve you. So cleaning up your side of the street, taking a broom and just letting the winds push everything away that no longer serves you. Um, and we will clarify with the uh, tarot. I'm Today I'm using the um, the steampunk tarot, which is one of my favorite decks. I just really love it. It um, is really beautiful shuffling and the cardstock on it is wonderful. Okay. Two cards for the panther. Oh, great. Oh, look at that. Ah, you're saying, what, what, what? <laughs> Do you like seeing my face? Ooh. <laughs> Good. These are good cards. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I am gonna pull the book because I want I don't want to miss anything. This is my intuitive that I just gave you. Um, the, the feelings that I get from the card, the energy that I get from the card, but I'm just gonna um, see what other messages might come from the author. Um, we're looking at fire and we're looking at the panther. Panther. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So this here panther, annihilation of the unnecessary. How cool is that? Annihilation. That's not just pushing it aside or purging it. That's like 
annihilating it, busting it in pieces. Um, annihilation of the unnecessary and purging. Wow, it's all about the purge for you this week. So um, it says here that when you're in balance, you're brave and productive if you're in this energy. When you are out of balance, you're destructive, self-destructive, it says. And when you, when you need to bring yourself into balance, get rid of the unnecessary clutter in the home is clutter in the mind. If you are a person like myself that suffers from stress and anxiety um, uh, or depression, clutter is going to add to that anxiety and depression. So um, you want to have clean spaces, open spaces, and you want to annihilate anything that is, isn't there to serve you. So it says the panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Uh, instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kind of havoc. <laughs> well, what else is the purge but havoc? You're getting rid of all that. And that can be full of havoc, right? And um, with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives, um, it is unexpected, uncomfortable, <laughs> and sometimes feels devastating. It can feel devastating. Um, but after all, the dust clears and it's easy to see the panther's wisdom is at work. Um, we've all been through these experiences and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. So, you know, it's like feel the fear and walk through it anyway. And it's a lesson I taught my son that he takes through life with him. Um, I remember a time when he was going to do uh, a talk, a talk for 2,000 youth. And uh, we both stood on the sidelines of the stage trying to catch our breath because we both have this anxiety. And um, he did it. He, he aced it. He walked through the fear and never to be uh, scared again. The next group he did, he gave a, a talk to 15,000 youth in a uh, stadium. So this is the power of the panther. Um, and so with the panther, it only stands to reason that we would see the emperor because the emperor is the guy, right? The emperor is an Aries card. He is, um, the emperor is... Um, the person who is in charge. So he is the guy who's in charge of everything. He's the CFO, the CEO. He runs the business. He runs the kingdom. He runs the empire. So he needs to make sure that everyone has what they need. No one is, you know, um, no one is poor, not having what they need for their families. He needs to be sure that all the money is balanced, that there's enough money for the troops, that there's enough money for, you know, feeding the people that are in the kingdom, anyone who works for him. So, um, yeah, it stands to reason that this, this panther energy is um, a fire energy and this uh, emperor is also a fire energy. So if you are not the emperor, you could be someone who has the emperor energy, someone who has this kind of energy. And there's going to be fun. Looks like there's going to be <clears throat> a celebration of kinds. So um, the three of cups is emotion. And um, this is this is fun. This is fun you're having with your friends. A, a celebration. Something great is going to happen. Perhaps you're going to meet the emperor and, and you're just going to get on great with them. Maybe you'll meet the emperor at a party. Um, you just never know who you're going to meet, right? So it looks like something is coming up that might be social for you this week. Then we have clean it up. And clean it up is in fact about purging as well. So you've got two cards about purging, cleaning it up, um, you know, cleaning up your side of the street, uh, sweeping away what you can and then letting the spring and fall winds blow it away. Um, so this is about unfinished business. This is about Mercury retrograde. This is, it drags stuff up like a vacuum. <laughs> It'll drag it to the forefront and make it, put it right in your face until you fix and clean up the unfinished business. And it's coming fast. It looks like um, things are going to be moving quickly for you this week. And uh, it could very well be a, a purging experience for you that you just need to get stuff cleaned up either in the workplace, at home, in a relationship. Could be a friendship. Um, could be in love. Yeah, you've got the lover's card. So um, it could be very well cleaning up um, a current relationship to make room for a new relationship or cleaning up an old relationship that's been plaguing you in the new relationship. So there you go. Um, I hope that some of this resonates with you. Uh, Aquarius, and if it does, please... <clears throat> Please show me your messages in the bottom. I would love to hear if it uh, resonates with you. And uh, please also look in the description field. If you have uh, any questions about what's in the description field, please drop me a line. My email is there. And um, you can always just leave me a message uh, in the comments and I will answer there as well. Thank you so much. Hope you have a good week. Let me know what's going on. Thanks, Curious. Bye.